All right, we're sitting here with Mississippi State volleyball coach Jenny Hazelwood. Coach, you just had your uh, your radio debut yes. not too long ago. How'd that go? It was great. You know, I think it's going to be a really neat show. People getting to, you know, hear from our leader, our athletic director, and you know him asking the questions and making just the content very interesting. And um, so it was fun, and hopefully people will tune in because I, I think they can learn a lot about Mississippi State athletics. And I mean, we all love that. So yeah. it's. it's it was really neat. Doing anything fun? I did. Well, you know, my mom says we're going nine and three in football. So wow. I mean, that's that's always that's a, high praise for him. Yeah, he um, and he gave a, a go Bulldogs at the beginning. So you know that was that was really neat. And you know, I mean, Scott would talk about stadium stuff with the peep stadium expansion with the people that were in the room, and mm -hmm. uh, people had the opportunity to ask questions and. It was, it was just a really neat experience. The food was fantastic. You know, mm -hmm. Harvey's is always great food, but, um, it, you know, it was a really good meal and just good to get to visit with a bunch of people. So I encourage, you know, if, if a radio show is coming to people's area, they need to attend. It was really neat. There you go. Well, just as we're getting ready for football season, that means we're getting ready for volleyball season yes, we as are. well. When's the first day? What's kind of going on for you between now and then? Our report day is August 7th, so mm -hmm. that'll be meetings and all the kind of stuff that we do like that. And then August 8th is our first day of practice. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the girls are really excited. We can't wait to get in the gym and work with them. And, you know, they've got very high expectations for themselves. And, and, and we have high expectations because even though we'll be incredibly young, we've got a lot of talent in our gym. So I, I think that on a daily basis, we will be playing high-level volleyball. You know, I, I think last year you really saw, or at least from my outside perspective, there was a big step taken as far as you know taking down some big teams um, and, and playing really hard against some of the best teams in the country as well what do you kind of do to, to to build on that can you build on that what, what's sort of the plan there yeah you know I, I think that that's always a step that is going to have to happen as you build a program if you want to build a championship caliber program one that can compete for SEC titles one that can compete for national titles you, you've got to start with those steps and our girls they definitely got a lot out of this past season that will really propel them forward I think in the years to come because you know there there's no um, before I think Mississippi State whether it was when I was coaching or even before I got here you know you took a set off of a, a, a really good team or a, a top ranked team or, mm -hmm. or whatever you played them close and, and that kind of stuff but um, we had never been over that hump to beat that high of, uh, of a ranked team when we beat Kentucky or you know we, we beat another top 50 50 RPI team, you know, so we had a couple of huge wins that now these girls, it, that's not enough for them. It's, mm -hmm. They don't want to say, oh, well, we got close or, or we beat somebody or we beat a few good teams. They want to do that day in and day out. So I just think as you're changing the mindset of a program, um, th those huge things have to happen along the way. And so it's really neat. We're going to be able to build on that this year. We're going to um, they know what they're capable of and it, it wasn't just by accident and you didn't you know we didn't just barely win a match I mean you know we won a, a few of those big matches pretty convincingly so that's I think that it helps them buy into everything we're doing mm -hmm. um, the training the teaching the you know scouting and all that kind of stuff they they understand okay all of that comes together for us to play great volleyball at a high level. So, you know, a lot of those kind of foundational things to a great program really um, moved us forward in this past season, and, and we can definitely build on that this year. We talked about some of the, the youth. I think you are saying you've got, what, one senior and a pair of juniors? Yep, yeah. So it, depending a lot on freshmen and sophomores, I guess. Absolutely. You know, when you only have three upperclassmen on your roster, mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's going to be some ups and downs just from an experience level. and. Um, you know, we are very, very, very talented, high, high level volleyball, like I said before, that, that will be in our gym, but they've got to learn the ropes. They've got to, especially, I mean, we'll have six freshmen and they've got to see what it's like to travel, you know, week in and week out. And, you know, you, you're playing on, we play Friday, Sunday, once SEC play starts. And so their, their day off is Monday, but they're in class. You know, I mean, it's, it's just, um, it's a grind. And they've got to learn that, and, and they've got to manage their time well, and they've got to realize they can't procrastinate. And they, you know, so there are just a lot of things that, you know, while you 
we're going to have a ton of great volleyball players, they're going to have to figure it out and figure out, you know, just the ins and outs of a college volleyball season. So, um, you know, I, I think all of them are pretty mature, good head on their shoulders type players and, um, and students and athletes. So I, I think they'll figure it out pretty quickly. And our girls, um, our returners, have a lot of structure in place to kind of help each other out and um, they, they really make sure they have each other's backs. So I think that the youth, um, you know, while we'll see it at times for sure, I, I think that um, we're doing everything we can to make sure it doesn't hinder us and our, our progress this season. You know, we, um, we don't want a, a young team to be an excuse to not do great things because we know we're fully capable of it and we just have to make sure that we avoid some of those pitfalls that may come with such a young group and um, and like I said our, our returners and you know specifically some of our um, upperclassmen leaders Paris Perrette and Chanel Baker you know they're trying to make sure that everybody's you know on the same page and they know what's expected and they try to take care of things. You know we don't have a recruiting sites for volleyball like we do for football and basketball and stuff like that but I get the impression all these young people you talk about were pretty I guess maybe they're highly recruited might be the sure. way to put it and certainly uh, big time players that you're bringing into the program so while there's a lot of youth there, there is a good bit of talent with that as well. Absolutely. And, you know, one of my favorite things is when we go out to club tournaments, and I remember being out at a, you know, junior national qualifier in California, and Taylor Scott um, is from California. So a lot of those college coaches out there just see those teams regularly. And um, I love when coaches constantly coming up to me saying, I love your player on this team. I love her. I love her. I mean, that I got that all the time mm -hmm. this spring. So, you know, I, I mean, and that that's the kind of stuff. We had two of our freshmen graduated high school early and came a semester. So they didn't play club volleyball this past year. They were mm -hmm. here, which is fantastic because they can learn the ropes and learn our systems and they're going to be a little bit further ahead but they were highly recruited as young you know athletes too um, and and that's you know every single girl that we've got coming in just I mean really like I said just high level kids so um, I, I just I think we've added so much to our program and not just from a volleyball ability but just athletic ability and that right mindset and I, I think that you know that having kids that come in with that right mindset you know your returners are not having to try to pull them along and mm -hmm. say no no this is how it's done here you know that it is they want to be a driving force to make sure that we're doing everything we can to be the best team we can be well tell me about Taylor I get the impression she's gonna be a fun one to watch she is she's about five nine Mm -hmm. um, she has a 30 inch vertical so she just flies and she's super fast so she's just she's fun to watch mm -hmm. um, you know we we were working team camp and um, they were demoing a drill that the campers were about to do and so she was doing stuff I mean every high school coach is like oh, wow she's gonna be good she, you know I, I just think fans are gonna watch her and and they are going to just enjoy it and because she's a great volleyball player but she's a great person just um, you know you can't not like her the girls love her you know people that are around her you know want to always hang out with her she's that kind of kid and um, and just really gets it and so I, I think she's gonna be a truly special player um, over the next four years here and and like I said I, I mean fans will know who she is because they will just love watching her play yeah. well you mentioned uh, Paris Barrett too yeah. And it weird that she's one of the you know older leaders. Now, I remember writing about her when she came in as a, a freshman. Yeah. Made a big impact, and now it, I get the impression she sort of is your leader. You know, she's a junior, Absolutely. but but really one of the the more vocal people on the team. She is, and you know, she wants that. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that what maybe a lot of young people don't realize is if you want to be a leader, it doesn't just happen because you want it. I mean, she's worked hard to figure out how she can be the best leader for our program and, and the, the things she needs to do. She leads by example on and off the court. Um, she will do the hard things that leaders need to do, maybe with keeping some people um, in line or whatever, that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I just really, um, I'm just very proud of her growth over the last few years. And, you know, it's always been very important to her, but to see her um, comfortably step into that role as the 
leader. I mean, she's she's always been one of our leaders for mm -hmm. sure. But you know, she's she's kind of the the one that you know needs to. I, I think make sure everything in every area is is functioning correctly and and just. In team dynamics, and we've got a smaller team, so it can be very few people. Um, you know, you you got to have someone that's going to make sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to do because we're not with them all the time, and and so you know we can't monitor everything. And you've got to have someone that puts you know the program ahead of you know having fun on a weekend or whatever, and and we'll make sure that people are doing things that they're supposed to do, and you know taking care of their bodies and they're physically ready to go when two days start, and just she does all those little things and um, very determined in the gym. I mean she you know when they're doing their summer workouts, you know I hear that she's um, leading the pack. You know she's just um, she's gonna beat people when they're running because she's worked that hard to make sure she's one of the best out there. So, you know, in every way, she's trying to be the leader and she is being the leader that we need her to be in. And, and that's good because her position, she needs to be that way. Mm -hmm. She's our setter. She's the one who runs the court. She's the quarterback. And so she's got to have those leadership qualities. If your setter doesn't, then, then that's gonna be tough. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's really neat that I'm not having to try to drag her along to be the leader we need her to be because of her position but it's something that's really important to her you know i think you, you see this a lot um dan mullen with football john Cullen with baseball a lot of when new coaches come in over those first couple of years and you start bringing in a lot of young players um she sort of seems like one of those foundation players that, yeah. that early on that's one of the players you get and you can really sort of build on from there absolutely and we told her that through the recruiting process mm -hmm. that you know you will be a big part of what started this and is really making it happen and um, she is and again a lot of it is you have to have a good setter you have to to win in volleyball and so when we we're recruiting her it's like look you know you're a great player and you can be a big part of what makes this program eventually, uh, you know, it, we're accomplishing things we've never accomplished before. And, mm -hmm. you know, her role in that, you know, cannot be understated. I mean, she it was a big part, is a big part of everything that we've been able to do. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I think we've got more great things ahead. And it's neat to, you know, for recruits, and, and we're going to see a little more of that in the coming year. Some of these players that you know are difference makers in where the program was to, to where it is, you know, in, in maybe the next year. And, and it's certain players, and obviously all of them as a group, but you know, there, there are a few key players. And um, again, it's sometimes the nature of the position that they play that really make a big difference. And she is, you know, one of those for us. Right on. All right, so looking at the schedule. You got any good uh, e easy ones to come to for you know, this football weekend? Y'all play that weekend or something like that? Yep. We, um, well, we're home the weekend before football starts, and mm -hmm. um, they've got fan day on Saturday, so people will be around, mm -hmm. um, and they need to come watch us play. You know, that's a great um, starter weekend for us. Um, you know, three teams that we can definitely compete with, and, um, and we should be able to see what we're all about that weekend. And, um, then we go out to USC and play one of the best teams in the country, and that's good too because you know, getting ready for SEC play, we've got to make sure we're playing some high-level teams. So that'll be a lot of fun, um, and and we again we've got girls from California on our roster. It'll be neat yeah. for them to get home. Um, and then yeah, we're home for uh, yeah, three football weekends. We're home for homecoming, which is always wonderful mm -hmm. because yeah, there are always Mississippi State people coming back obviously homecoming weekend and then you know I'll have friends call me or message me and are you, you guys you know in town and then it's, it just stinks when we're not here and there's yeah. so much that's going on and so we're excited that we're home that weekend and then we're home when football plays Arkansas and Texas A&M so two huge football weekends that you know our girls get to experience that they they love college football you know and it's fun for them to get to go see their friends play and you know, when we're on the road we'll, we'll watch the games on TV if we can you know can within our schedule and what we're doing that day but um, it's just different when you get to be there so I'm really excited that we're in town for that experience and um, but 
th those are opportunities for fans to come see us. We play Friday nights at 7, and a lot of people come into town that night. So mm -hmm. they're there for the game the next day. And, uh, I mean, it's so easy to come over to Newell Grissom. They're, look, they're even paving a new parking lot back there. So there's tons of room yeah. <laughs> for people to come in and, um, and get a good parking spot and come see us play. I, I mean, it really is a great sport to watch. And I just encourage people that, you know, uh, there are people out there that have seen, you know, heard about volleyball or seen stories about volleyball and, and, and they know, they know about volleyball. They just haven't, you know, haven't come through the doors yet. And we really want people to understand that they, they would enjoy it and it would be a fun, a fun thing to do. And, you know, then a lot of times people are coming back on non-football weekends because they enjoy watching us play. Sounds good. Well, Coach, appreciate you taking a few minutes. Thank you.